Howdy, KubeCon. It's great to see you. We're going to have a ball, if you couldn't tell by the uh, shirt today. Uh, all eyes are on you and users. Uh, I'm really excited, and I'm in France, so hip hip beret. Uh, I'm going to be talking about no cap, just cloud native facts with everybody today. Now, our ecosystem works really well together. Uh, as I've gotten to have conversations with people in the hallway tracks, uh, phone calls leading up to this event, and just getting everything together, I notice that we do so much together. And one of the questions that I constantly ask myself and others within the community is, what are end users working on? One of the things that really helps me out with that is we have LFX insights and dev stats and all of these metrics to really dig into what it is that end users are spending their time on. And we see projects like Backstage just rocketing into the forefront when it comes to end user contributions from folks like Spotify. And one that really caught my eye, uh, uh, so this graph is from the past about four months worth of data. So KCL was something that caught my eye with how to configure Kubernetes uh, primitives and assets, things like that, with YAML and JSON. So that was a new one that popped onto the list for me and was something that I had to go look up as part of a sandbox CNCF project. Uh, we see Argo, Dragonfly, Prometheus, and several others here, even some projects that are kind of focused on AI workloads and within that space as well. Now, making your first contribution can be a little bit jarring. Uh, you might be a little bit nervous in doing that. You might not know where to go, how to do it. And for that, we've started a program called Zero to Merge that some of you might have heard about. Zero to Merge shows you how to contribute to projects, join the community, interact with contributors and maintainers, and understand what it takes to open up pull requests and issues. And let's face it, you know, we all have issues, just it's nice when we can put them in GitHub and actually talk about what's going on. This program we initially had, we wanted it to be, uh, we, we were aiming for 100, 150 people uh, to join and find some interest for this program. And we were overwhelmed. I think to date we've had over 1,500 people uh, that have signed up for this program. I'm really excited to announce that our next, we finished our first cohort, I'm really excited to announce that our next cohort is going to be in April of 2024. So in just a few weeks, we're going to be kicking off our next cohort with a whole bunch of folks. I'm really excited to meet all of the people as part of that. Now, when I was thinking about what to talk about for this keynote, um, we were wrapping in KubeCon Chicago. And this was about November. We had the holidays coming up. And I said, oh, oh my goodness, we have, uh, it's, just, it's just March, isn't it? Are, are you sure there's not enough more time to think about topics for KubeCon in Paris? And uh, while I was up a little bit too late looking at my computer, uh, I wear contacts, uh, glasses at night, and I realized I couldn't see because the lenses were all smudged and blurry. So I had to take them off, polish them off. And that got me thinking. It got me thinking that uh, as we walk through the CNCF, as we look at these projects, as we work with one another, it really is great to have good perspective. Uh, and we might not always have that by default. Sometimes it's hard to see the forest through the trees and understand what the landscape actually looks like as uh, conversations happen, as things evolve. Imagine the cloud native ecosystem is a vast radiant spectrum of light. Each wavelength represents a different technology, a different approach, a different solution. On its own, this light is brilliant, but it's scattered. It's like a rainbow stretched across the sky. It's beautiful, but it can be really overwhelming and difficult to comprehend in its entirety. This is where the CNCF comes in. Just as, light, as a lens bends and refracts light, focusing it into a cohesive image, the CNCF takes diverse and sometimes disparate elements of the cloud-native world and brings them into sharp focus. The CNCF provides a framework and a structure which we can view this complex landscape. Now, I, got some, uh, I had a little bit of time over the weekend, so I got to visit the Louvre. And uh, looking at that, it looked a lot like a prism, right? 
Um, it's also passing light through it, bending it at night. You might not be able to see all the way through it. And similarly, we have so many projects like a museum, right? But a museum has a curator, uh, has a whole bunch of different exhibits. And typically, folks in a museum and all of those pieces, they, they don't shift out too much. And that's not at all like our community. We constantly have new conversations. We constantly have new projects. We have new landscapes like WebAssembly and AI and figuring out how to run all these workloads. Uh, Kubernetes covers a lot of basics, but there are so many different ways that people use these projects. And I love hearing the outlandish ways that, uh, of, in certain stories when I get to chat with people. If you think about how a telescope works, it gathers light from distant stars and galaxies that are otherwise too faint for our eyes to see, which can sometimes feel like cloud-native news. But the telescope's lens focuses that light, it magnifies it, and reveals the intricate details of the GitHub stars. In some way, the lens of the CNCF magnifies and clarifies the cloud-native ecosystem and making it accessible and understandable for all of us. This community is incredibly diverse, representing various industries, geographies, perspectives, personalities, values. It's, it's staggering. But what binds us together is a shared commitment to the principles of Cloud Native, to a belief that these technologies can transform the way that we build and that we run applications, uh, shaping the ways that we work together. Now, as we look to the future, the role of the CNCF lens will only become more critical. The Cloud Native landscape is evolving rapidly with new technologies and approaches always emerging. The CNCF provides a way to understand this change and how these new pieces fit into a larger puzzle. So with that, I'd love to ask some end users to come up on stage, uh, working with vendors and reshaping perspectives. With that, I'd love to invite you up. Oh, hey. <laughs> 